Hello, this is Bren Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a Literary Sources database tour. In order to get to the library homepage, click on the menu and click on the plus sign next to Student Support to open the submenu. The library is listed between counseling and tutoring. Once at the library homepage, please note the Ask a Librarian button directly below the databases button. This is 24-7 chat research help. So if you need any help while you're doing your searches, chat with us and we will help you. So today's database tour is for literary sources. To get to it, you click on the databases button and you have two ways to get to it. If you know the name of your database, you can click on All Databases, which is a listing of all the databases that Santa Monica College subscribes to, alphabetically by title, with a short description of what's in each database. If you're just looking for literature databases, you can scroll down to the discipline listing for literature. It won't list all of the databases, but it will list the databases that are primarily about literature and not primarily, but will include good information about literature. So today we're going to go into the first one listed, Literary Sources. From here I have a few options. I can look for an individual person, a specific work. I can do an advanced search in which I can tell it I want more than one term. I'm going to do a person search today. And I'm going to search for Meg Medina. Spell it right. There is one person listed in this database with that name. So I click on her and it tells me they have five biographies of this person, 50 reviews and news about her works, six primary sources, which include the text of her works, and four multimedia, which could be a podcast, a blog, um, or a piece of video. So if I decide that I want to take a look at these, because I did a person search, it goes directly to her biographies. It tells you what they're in, in this case a newspaper, in this case a book, in this case a magazine. Within this, I can sort by subject, by information about the person, by the name of the work, for information by the person, for the publication title in which that review or news is written, the document type, be it review, news, biography, etc., or I can search within my results. I'm going to go here to Reviews and News, broaden my search a little bit, and then I'm going to say within here, I want to look for document types, book reviews. I want to read what critics have to say about her work. So that's one way that you can use this database. You can look by the person or you can look by the work. Once you find something that looks interesting, you can click on the title. It will tell you who wrote it and when it was written, what it was written in and who publishes that what type of document it is, and even how long it is. You can explore related subjects, both works and individuals. Notice she's listed again here, so it circles back. And then it gives you the text of the actual article. If I decide that I like this, I can email it to myself, download it, get a link to it. I can cite it. So say, for example, I want to use this in my English 2 paper. If I click on citation, I can tell it which citation I want, then copy and paste it into my paper, and fix the formatting based on the template that my teacher has given me. Robots do their best, but they don't always get the citation perfect. If I decide to send it to myself, I can either send it to my Google Drive, 
my Office 365 OneDrive, or I can email it to myself. Please be aware when you email this, it requires an internal emailer that is installed on your device. So if you're sharing devices with others, or if you're borrowing someone else's device, you may actually be calling up their email instead of yours, so do be careful. Once I've gotten what I like from this, I can go back up here to my results and pick something different. Maybe now I want an author biography. So I can remove this limiter and it will take me back to my original page where I can find a biography of this author. And from there, I can do the exact same thing. I can click on the title. I can cite it, email it, download it, save it to my Google Drive or to the cloud. Biographies include information about the person, any awards that they have won, a listing of works that they're famous for, and some information about them growing up, things that inform their work. At the end, it will give you a list of further readings that you can find if we have them in the library or via the public library, as well as online resources. And again, it will help you with your citation. If you have any questions, use the Ask a Librarian button on the library homepage. Best of luck with your research and be well.